friends, I think the most popular acids and the ones that we hear all the time are beta hydroxy acid, salicylic acid, and alpha hydroxy acids like lactic acid and glycolic acid. But what about all these other acids, right? So in this little explainer, I'm gonna start with the easiest ones. My guess is the most well-known acid is likely salicylic acid. This is a very popular acne-fighting acid. Salicylic acid is lipophilic. This means lipo, oil, philic, loving. Salicylic acid loves oil. And lucky for you, there's oil in your pores. So salicylic acid is able to get inside the pore, exfoliate within the pore, and help to decongest within the pore. Within the follicle, it's helpful for oily skin, helpful for congested skin, it's very helpful for ingrown hairs. Any inflammation of the pore or follicle, salicylic acid is gonna be your friend. It's also antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. BHA 2% liquid is a very light formula. So that's awesome for those with very oily skin and that is mostly who I'd recommend it for. Oily and congested skin. You can use it morning or night, but always with an SPF. Glycolic acid is also very high in the most popular acids category. Glycolic acid is the alpha hydroxy acid with the smallest molecular weight. So this means it absorbs very quickly and that it's also not for sensitive skin because that very quick absorption can cause irritation if your skin is sensitive. I recommend glycolic acid be used just at nighttime. And again, always wear SPF in the morning. Now let's get into some of the more interesting acids. Mendelic acid is derived from bitter almonds, but if you have a tree nut allergy, you are not at risk and can use mendelic acid safely. Mendelic acid is the most gentle of all of the alpha hydroxy acids. It's just as exfoliating as glycolic or lactic, but because the molecule is chunky, it's going to take a long time for it to wiggle its way in between your skin cells. This means it's amazing for sensitive skin, and it's also amazing for very deeply toned skin, like me and probably you. Mendelic acid is amazing for smoothing texture and also for evening your skin tone. It interacts with the melanocytes, so it helps hyperpigmentation a lot. An underrated use for mandelic acid is also an acne treatment. For inflamed cystic acne, mandelic acid does a wonderful job at both reducing the inflammation from the breakout and helping to treat the hyperpigmentation that likely is gonna form after it's healed. And it stimulates collagen production for firmer, healthier skin. Next we have azelaic acid. Azelaic acid, azelaic acid. I say it both ways, depending on the day. <laughs> but azelaic acid is a dicarboxyl acid. That probably doesn't mean much to you. All you need to know is that it's not an alpha hydroxy acid. As the azelaic acid has a mild exfoliation effect, but not as much as alpha hydroxy acids do. It helps stabilize oil production as well as help hydrate the skin. Azelaic acid is fantastic because it treats both hyperpigmentation, redness, and acne. It's also one of the few ingredients that is really good for helping with rosacea, which is a chronic redness and inflammatory condition on the face. Azelaic acid is fantastic because it's also pregnancy safe. There's a lot of products you can't use while pregnant or breastfeeding, but azelaic acid is not one of them. So for that, we thank her. I recommend using azelaic acid in the evening time and always wear SPF in the morning. Now I know you've heard of AHAs, but have you heard of PHAs? Polyhydroxy acids are similar to alpha and beta hydroxy acids, but they're even bigger, poly, many. So because they're bigger molecules than lactic and glycolic and mandelic, they're going to be a lot more hydrating and a lot more gentle. There is an exfoliation action with PHAs, but it's very gentle. So if you are accustomed to AHAs as your exfoliant, you're not going to see much exfoliation action from a PHA. However, they're excellent for really hydrating the skin and plumping because they're so big. If you've tried chemical exfoliants and you find that your skin is really too sensitive for them, PHAs are going to be your best friend because you're getting a chunky, hydrating, humectant, of a molecule and also an exfoliating action. So your skin is going to be brighter, it's going to be more hydrated, it's going to feel softer, yeah. And then there's tranexanamide. Tranex 
And then there's tranexamic acid, a superstar when it comes to brightening. It's a synthetic derivative of the amino acid listine, a super brightener, a tyrosinase inhibitor, meaning it helps prevent the formation of hyperpigmentation. And it's also anti-inflammatory. As we know, hyperpigmentation happens because of inflammation. So it's really gonna help to get to the root cause of your hyperpigmentation while treating your hyperpigmentation as well. And this is also the product that I gave one of your favorite artists to help with her skin. <laughs> this was fun guys, let's do it again soon, yeah? If this was helpful for you, be sure to like it and share it and comment below which acid you're thinking about trying next. Transexamic. Transexamic. The end.